So today we have something kind of special. This is Transmetropolitan, Volume 1, uh, written by Warren Ellis. Um, this is actually on loan to me from Pinto, who does the regular movie vlogs with me. Um, he knew I was kind of on a, a graphic novel kick, so uh, he uh, highly recommended this to me, and he actually lent me Volume 1 to check out, and... Um, after doing so, I, I can definitely see why he likes it. Um, I didn't know anything about this going into it, uh, but I have seen this character, Spider Jerusalem, uh, pop up quite a bit on the internet. Um, I've seen him, uh, I think there's like memes about him and stuff. He, he kind of became as infamous as Deadpool, um, but I, uh, I never really looked into it, but, uh, I, uh, again, I can definitely see why so many people really liked him. So Spider is a journalist, and he starts out as a recluse up in the mountains, but he goes back to the city and um, gets work uh, covering stories again. And uh, I love this part right here where, he, where he's leaving to head back to the city, and he passes by a bar. He says, what a great bar. I hate it and everybody in it. And then he proceeds to <laughs> send an RPG at it. And I, I think this... This bit right here kind of tells you uh, what you're in for. So the setting is in kind of this, um, I don't want to say dystopian future. It's more, uh, it's more wacky than anything else. But yeah, it's a, it's a futuristic setting and they have uh, all kinds of gadgets and weird characters and all that. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, I find it more amusing than disturbing or anything here's a here's his cat by the way this weird mutated um cigarette addicted cat that he just finds I actually really love spider in this because he's kind of in this weird space between ballsy and crazy because um he just does whatever he wants but he kind of has uh his own his own motives for doing so like he wants to he wants to tell a story but then he kind of doesn't want to be famous but then when he finds out he's fa he becomes famous again he's uh he's like okay <laughs> so there's um four chapters in this and the first one kind of uh introduces us to spider and gives us a good idea about the world that uh they live in and um, in issue two, uh, oh, geez, he's naked. <laughs> issue two, uh, we meet uh, Shannon, who is uh, kind of a uh, protege of his. And um, this is, to me, where the uh, comic really picked up, because the dynamic they have is just amazing. Um, just how, like, she's just really trying to get by, and he's he's she's constantly having to put up with his... Uh, his crazy ramblings and his weird uh, his weird habits. I've been told that uh, unfortunately she does not stick around for uh, the uh, entire series, which is a shame because honestly I, I love the dynamic they have. I think the third part is my favorite though because um, the entirety of this uh, chapter is just Spider sitting down and watching TV and. Um, in the context of a comic, you'd think that wouldn't really be very interesting, but my god, it's just, it's so funny. Like, I just, like, look at this bit right here. Like, he's watching TV, and you kind of see him slowly <laughs> sinking down and falling onto the floor, and the TV's still going. And like, this would make a really great visual gag for, like, a TV show or a movie or something, but I, I... I just love the bit here. The for uh, it it really works here, and it's really funny to watch him kind of degenerate into like a brainless TV watcher. Because then he starts buying things, um, and then he just makes he just starts calling into different um, like call-in shows, and then eventually he just, he just kind of breaks down, and he's like, "Oh God, what have I become?" <laughs> yeah, the fourth volume is when things get really crazy, because then they start going into. Uh, Religion, and that's always a fun subject. Um, there's some sort of, like, religious convention happening, and uh, he goes over there, and he just kind of, yeah, he uh, here it is. I don't know why this page is like this, but, um, yeah, he goes over there, and he just raises hell, 
with like everybody that's there and it's just uh it's very cathartic and and fun to watch um also it it kind of gives you uh a, a good look into what kind of world this is just seeing all the weird religions like this one guy he's just uh, his whole religion is about some sort of lobotomy with an ice pick, and um, apparently these people worship Slash from uh, Guns N' Roses. Um, yeah, there's... Uh, some of these seem kind of interesting, too. There's a Thor Needs Virgins and this guy with a nipple uh, ring. Um, uh, so many interesting things to look at and and that's kind of one of the things i really like about a story i i like um i like learning about the world especially in a place as uh as wacky and crazy uh as the setting of uh trans metropolitan and as much as i love watching um spider uh do his thing i i like uh i like learning about you know how things work and you know what kind of like religions they have for example um this does kind of end rather abruptly but um i think um i think it has interested me uh into checking out more of it i'll probably get volume two from pinto uh, at some point maybe when i return this one um what's uh one thing i found um somewhat disappointing is uh uh these uh four chapters here they're they're kind of self-contained or at least uh, uh right now they seem kind of self-contained uh apparently there is uh going to be an overarching story somewhere down uh down one of the volumes um i really feel like this works well as uh you know self-contained stories like each chapter is its own thing um but i guess uh, an overarching story would be kind of interesting also i can definitely see this like being adapted into something like maybe a tv show or uh, uh i don't think a movie would work for this a movie would uh a movie would not do this justice but um i'm actually uh, um kind of shocked that it hasn't happened yet although i'd imagine casting for spider would be very difficult i have no idea who would possibly play him in a, a movie or a TV show. They'd have to do some major casting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Um, definitely going to check out more. Um, so uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think.